Welcome, Welcome back, back to another Leverloo video. In today's video, we will be trying crazy flavored corn puffs. Think the big Cheetos, like Cheeto puffs, and that's them. <laughs> we have a variety of beautiful flavors to indulge in today. Starting from the left to the right here, we have pizza, sour cherry, wasabi, and bubble gum. We're gonna go, what do you think, this order? We're gonna go, We're gonna that go in order this exactly. order because we wanna spare we ourselves you, from that. We know you guys want the bubble gum. And the we'll wasabi. Get to it. We'll get there eventually. We'll get to it. So we're gonna try them, rate them out of 10, and then kind of order the four flavors in the order that we like them in. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, we have pizza. pizza. It doesn't really say what type of pizza, just pizza. This one is definitely the least terrifying because I feel yeah. like. Every single chip brand on earth has a pizza flavoring. And normally they're pretty all right. It kind oh, of smells like pasta. Smells, that smells good, yeah. That yeah, I just get like really a tomato-y smell. It's yeah. nice. So, this is the first one. What do it look like? They're just an orangey color with little green flecks on them. These are so light. Like they're actually very fluffy. so light. Like you could hold like 15 of these at one time. Cheers. Oh, wow. So the texture is more styrofoam than cheese puff. It melts yeah, the instant that in your mouth. That was really interesting. Yeah, it kind of melts like a piece of cotton candy yeah, when it hits your mouth. Yeah, definitely cotton candy vibes. The flavoring was um, actually pretty light. Like, I feel like I tasted it, but it wasn't like very heavy with the flavoring. I guess that's because these are little tiny like cheese swilly things. So I don't know how much flavor they could actually pack into it. I'm impressed with this. It's not disgusting at all. If anything, it's like a pizza light, like she was saying. It's not very flavorful, but that's kind of nice because it, it, it's like you could eat a lot of them. But yeah, overall, I, I'd say pretty good. What do we think of out of 10? I'd give like a seven. Yeah, I'd give like a six, but that's yeah. just because I don't like the pizza flavoring too much, but it's I think it's, fine. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's well, pretty I'll, good. Well, I'll, like... I'll meet you at six. Okay. We'll go with six. <laughs> okay. I did no convincing to get that, but. All right, up next we have sour cherry. This was interesting. Europeans tend to love their sour cherry. They love sour cherry. Things. Worth noting, I don't think the puff is actually pink. We'll find out. It looks like they have this like dyed plastic screen similar to the bubble gum over there. I don't think the puffs are actually blue, but we'll find out. They mix some dye with some sand in Minecraft. Oh, they are pink. Are they as pink? No, oh, they're no, nowhere no, no, near no, no, as no, pink no, no, as you. Yeah, as they're the, nowhere near as pink. It tries to lead you to believe. As the packaging would lie to you to believe, but they're kind of just, uh, this doesn't look like a cherry coloring at all. This no. is like a bubble gum. Yeah, coloring. I could see the bubble gum looking like but this, but I'm confused because we, we have it? bubble gum. I get nothing. I smell nothing. It doesn't really smell, smell like anything. All right, let's. Uh, They're really pretty. Like this looks like something like a unicorn would eat. Yeah, this could be like unicorn flavored. Oh. Oh wow. I don't like that. It's like medicinal cherry, kind of, and it feels very fake. That one's, that took me on a ride. That was really interesting. Tell us about your ride. So, right, you put this in your mouth first and you're immediately hit with like a little bit of cherry. It's not too much. And you're like, this is weird because normally when you're eating something this texture, it's gonna be like cheesy flavored. That's why the pizza wasn't as alarming to us. But this one was really interesting. It tasted a bit like candy. Like this tastes like a slight of cotton candy type of vibe. I agree with I don't that. think it's as medicinal as I think you think it is. I think it's, I got candy, candy, medicine. I mostly just got candy. That's and fair. It was interesting to me. Are you ready to rate it out of 10? Two. Three. Ooh, yeah, I both of us not. I yeah, I was more. thinking it's praises more, but. Yeah, I don't, no, I'm giving that one a three. I don't like that at all. This one, I could like munch, kind of absentmindedly. This, I would roll up and put in the cupboard. It's not for me. It's not quite right. It just seemed like there's something a little wrong with that. Do you want to give that like a two and a half overall? Yeah, we can do that. Which makes me nervous for these because I expected these two to be pretty good. The but... lack of flavorings on these is a little bit jarring. Yeah, it's like they expect you to eat a lot because they're, they're not flavored very well. Next up, we have wasabi flavor. This was actually the chip that started this whole thing because I said, what the heck, they have wasabi chips. This and... inspired the video you're watching right now. And then we saw bubble gum and we knew it had to be done. It had to be done. So. Muscle times Muscles. 10. Can you smell? Kind of smells like cabbage or something. I'm getting like nothing off of these. Like waft, you can't waft these, not. I respect that the entire puff is green. Unlike the sour cherry that was just like white with little flavored colorings, the entire puff is green. 
Yeah, it's, it doesn't even have like powder on it like the other one did. All right. I'm scared for this one. Cheers. <laughs> that one's good. That is really delightful. You know what? They did a good job of capturing wasabi essence because it has that like slight burn. This is like, these are like Lacroix chips. Like they're not yeah. Like, these are kind of Lacroix chips. That's interesting. That's really good, though. actually. That I feel like I'm at like a Japanese restaurant right now, and I'm like, you know, sometimes you get bored after eating your sushi, so you just have a little bit of wasabi. Yeah. That's this. That does have a decent amount of little burn to it. That's so good. That's delightful. Yeah. Wow. All right. Do we want to rate that out of ten? Three, two, one, Eight. nine. Man, I'm just so pessimistic. You're kinda, over no, here. that's okay. I for a chip, that's probably like a six. But for these chips, that's like a nine. I that that's really I good. would buy that again. That's actually I would really, buy that again. It's a I really think it's, impressive chip. Yeah, it's it's a impressive corn puff. I'm scared, We've got but yeah. Final one. Bubble gum. Bubble gum corn puffs. Look at look at what natural coloring that blue is. <laughs> I want to put that in my body. Yeah. <laughs> nice and Or even has the dog blown a bubble. Look at that. Oh, this is disappointing. Look what at color? this. Look at this. You would think these are going to be blue, right? Yeah, like white. Right. They're, They're completely white. white. Oh, they don't even have powder on them. They didn't. Oh my god. I don't. Want... Oh no. Immediately, this smells like that. Like the tubs of pink bubble yep. gum. Yup. Yup. I don't like those. I'm actually really unexcited for this currently. All right, let's. And they're uh, just white. Look at that. You could find this anywhere. This looks like a mozzarella stick. <laughs> Do we go in for it? Oh, I don't want to. I have faith in you. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. We knew it would be bad. But is it worse than the sour cherry? Yeah. You think so? I gotta have one of each, back to back. I think so. All right, one of these. I think- Oh, I'm that's right. really bad. It's really bad. And like, if you're someone like me who doesn't even really like bubble gum, this is also, this is even more terrible. He goes for bubble gum ice cream. I do love bubble gum ice cream. If it has it in the And store. that shows you how fake that is, because this makes bubble gum flavored ice cream seem natural. Yeah, that's synthetic. Actually, Luke would kill us. Yeah. If Chemistry, people. You know what I mean when I'm saying synthetic. So get over I mean yourself. artificial. Get over yourself. I don't mean that it's been <laughs> synthesized in a way that's related to whatever chemistry field people do. Um, between these two, I'd say they're like tied. They're I don't actually, know yeah, which they're is both worse. pretty bottom of the freaking barrel. That barrel sucks. So out of 10, <laughs> do we want to give that also a 2.5? Yeah. Wow. I'd agree with that. They're like tied for just terrible. I hope this isn't some like mom and pop store that we're like crapping <laughs> on right now. So in order, we think really wasabi is the best. Wasabi is so good. And then... Then pizza. And then pizza. And then, and then these two are tied for... These can live in the bin together. Frankly, they they're both disgusting. The they can couple up and then get voted off the island together. Off the island. Um, yeah, that was in Yeah, I want another one of these. Do you want another one of these? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> we've got the end of the video to film, huh? Sorry, yeah, these are really good. Run to the store and buy some Gusto's wasabi flavored corn puffs. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it educational, insightful, and motivating. I feel like no one's gonna want to try these based off our reactions. These are good and, and interesting and good. Those, maybe buy one as like a gift for a friend just to see how they respond and like tell them it's really good, but. Oh yeah, that'd be a good one. Okay, fun one. Uh, we'll catch you in the next. Leverloo video.